Good morning friends, Coop here, uh, or good afternoon, or good evening, or wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, hello and welcome back. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, I released a speed design video yesterday just covering how to build a, uh, a working solar system, uh, working in quotation marks, because it's, it's just a bunch of like planets and they just sort of spin around and, and look cool, uh, but the rotation method's a pretty cool little thing, and because it's quick and because it's easy, I thought I could do a uh, tutorial tutorial on it just to cover how to do that and we can uh, go over how to build it and see if there's anything you might be able to adapt it to in your games. So uh, to get started with I'll, I'll do the usual, I'll um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just cover what I've got in the scene already. Uh, all I have is just some materials that I'm going to use, there's nothing fancy to them, uh, they're just a bunch of colours basically, you can see them all here. And I've got some prefabs that I've set up already. There's nothing fancy to these either. They're just a like a mesh filter, uh, a sphere collider, and a mesh renderer. So they're basically just um, spheres that I've added, 3D object sphere. Um, I've only saved them as a prefab just to try and save a bit of time. I've also created the only script we're going to need, and I've called it rotation script. You can call it whatever you like, and I've got it open down here, so I'll just open that up. There's nothing in here at the moment. It's going to be really easy. If you watched the other video, you saw that it's just like a one-liner, basically. Uh, we're just going to need a couple of variables and then just the uh, function itself. But I'll cover that in a second. So we'll just set up the scene, and the trick is all basically in how you... how you handle the rotation for the planets and that sort of thing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to add the sun in. That's just a fairly large sphere, 4x4x4, four by four by four, uh, that I've added in. Uh, there's nothing too fancy to that one. Uh, I'm just going to put it at zero, 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 just to give us that center of the scene. And I'm not actually going to run the game. I'm just going to do this all in the scene view, but you should be able to see what's going on. There we go. And I'm going to position... Actually, yeah, I will. I'll position the planets now. So I'll chuck the first one in, planet 1. Uh, I'll put that at 0, 0, 0. Do the same for 2, 3, 4, 5. Chuck them all at 0. It'll just make lining them up a little bit easier. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Please bear with me. Alright, cool. So, planet one, uh, we'll just move that a little bit over to the side. Get it sort of a fairly nice distance away from the uh, from the sun, as it were. Do the same with two. And as you can see, these are all different sizes. And the distance itself doesn't matter too much. Um, a bit of randomization is actually going to look alright with this kind of thing. And... Number five, smallest of the lot. Put him, put him nice and far out. There we go. Might move these out a little bit too. Cool. Just going to disable the directional light as well. Like I said, we're not going to need it. Um. All right. I might just do a bit more spacing. Cool. There we go. All right. Before we go too much further, uh, we're going to add a couple of moons and stuff as well. But I just wanted to lay these out now. Um just so we can sort of see what's going on here and you can sort of see the prefabs and the kind of things we're working with. Uh, we're going to go to the rotation script and we're going to sort that out. It's not going to take long at all. We're only going to need two variables. We're going to make them both public uh, and I think they'll both be floats. So we'll say rotation speed and do it again, public float. Uh, we'll make this the dampening amount. And we're going to fill them both out in the editor. We'll get to those in a sec. So in update, all we need to do, because all we're going to want these objects to do um, is basically when the game starts and constantly they're going to be rotating. Uh, you could sort of play with this function a bit and throw it in wherever you want based on whatever, like a key press or, or a boolean or whatever you want to do. Um, but for the purposes of this, it's going to be really easy. We're just going to say transform rotate and this is going to want uh, it's going to want a direction combined with a speed, I guess, is the best way to put it. So we're going to do this, uh, the, and well, not a direction, but it wants to know which axis to rotate around. So we're going to tell it to rotate around the y-axis. Uh, the easiest way to do that is by giving it vector 3 dot up, which I believe should do that. And we're going to times that by the rotation speed, 
so that's how f how fast it's going to rotate I guess uh, or around which axis and it also controls the speed uh, and we're going to do that times by time dot delta time to sort of smooth it out for the frames um, we're going to times it by the dampening amount uh, and that will just sort of allow you to get get a bit more of a granular control over the speed so you'll set your speed and then you set the dampening amount to sort of smooth that out a little bit uh, so it doesn't look jerky or weird or anything like that uh, and the next parameter we need to give the transform dot rotate is the space parameter um, we want that to be space dot self and the reason we want it to be self and not world which is the other other option um, we want it to rotate to like on its y-axis so not the world's y-axis on it on its own uh, so if we if we skew the axis a little bit so the planets aren't going to necessarily all be in a line and you'll see this um, they are going to be sort of sitting on a little bit of a tilted axis so if we didn't set this they would continue to just rotate around the world's y not their own uh, so that tilt wouldn't have any effect there we go and that is the whole script right there I believe Cool. So let's go back to the editor. Now we're going to need to chuck that script on a couple of things, the planets uh, and the moon, uh, but also a couple of other things as well. But I'll start with these. Um, we'll just select all of these. Uh, I won't do the sun, I'll just do the planets and the moon, the prefabs. We're going to add the rotation script to it. There we go. Uh, for the speed, I might just set that to something like, I don't know, we'll start with, say, 20 dampening amount. Let's say... To just see where that gets us for now. Um, I'm not going to test that just yet. We're going to fix something else, and that is we're going to add. So we're going to want these uh, planets to all rotate themselves, as you could, as you would imagine, the planets themselves are going to rotate. But we also want them to rotate around the sun. So we need something sitting there to sort of handle that. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add an empty game object. We'll call it Planet Container because it's going to contain a planet and that's about it uh, and I'll just put a brackets 1 there and I'm going to move that to 0, 0, 0 and I'm going to duplicate that uh, what have we got? so we've got 5 planets I'm going to duplicate it 5 times 4, 5 and just throw these into them Cool, so the idea here is that these planets are now aligned with the parent, which should be sitting at 0, 0, 0 for each one, uh, so exactly where the sun is. So obviously if the sun wasn't sitting at 0, you'd want these sitting somewhere else or, or whatever, uh, but you'll see. I'm just going to select all that and collapse it. I just want to select these, and I'm going to add the rotation script to them as well, so to the container objects. And we'll do the same, 20 and, what did I say, 2, something like that. Cool, that's nice and easy. Alright, next thing. Let's add a couple of moons. <laughs> Sounds funny. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to grab the planet 2 here, uh, and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to remove basically everything except the transform uh, and the rotation script. So I'm going to remove that, remove the collider, remove the renderer. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to call it Moon Container. So you can sort of see what's going on here. Um, that's still got the rotation set there, that's fine. And what do we do? We'll grab the planet again. I'm just going to change that. I'm going to call it Moon. And what will we... Actually, no, because I've got a prefab for that, so I'm being silly. I'm going to drag and drop a moon on. There he is, look at him. He's tiny. Tiny little fella. <laughs> I'm going to drag and drop that onto the moon container. Set the moon to be at zero, 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 and we'll just drag it out a little bit. There we go, so we can see it there. Probably should make that a bit bigger. Which, of course, isn't going to work for that one now. So we'll just redo that one sec. Yeah, it's probably a bit bigger than I'd like, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Just drag that out, there we go, cool. So, you know, the scale's a bit off, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Uh, we're going to duplicate that. I might, where? I'll put another moon on this red planet here, this Mars lookalike. Uh, duplicate that. 
and one is he four. Just drag and drop that onto planet four and I'll just zero it. There we go. Might need to adjust the moon. Drag him out a little bit. There we go, cool. So that should be all pretty much set up. I think the moon has the rotation script on it. Does good. So I reckon if we were to run this, it should already start to work. Just checking everything. Yep, yeah, looks good. Just collapse all that. Let's hit play and see what happens. Uh, of course it takes me to the game, but we want the same view. There we go. Cool, so you can see them rotating. You can see the moons are also rotating around their their planets. Um, because the planets themselves are also rotating, it's sort of causing a bit of a speed up there, but that's okay. Kind of just adds to the effect. Uh, the game, I'm just going to drag that down here, otherwise it's going to pester us. I don't have a scene camera, uh, a main camera in the scene, so it's just going to complain, but whatever. So there we go. Cool. Alright. Nice. So next thing we probably want to do is just start adjusting the speed of those rotations. Uh, so this is going to be the annoying part. So all I'm going to do is for each one I'm going to give it a different amount for the rotation speed and the dampening amount and then sort of just test it uh, at each point. So I'm thinking I might even just speed this bit up, but uh, you, you should sort of see uh, the rotation speed and the dampening amount. We'll just set a different one for for every single one of these, including all of these. Just expand them all again, because we also are going to want to do it to the moons and the moon containers. Um, so you just do it through here. So we're going to go through each and every single one and adjust these two <laughs> variables. Um, so I'm going to speed that up now, so just bear with me. Alrighty, now that that's done and we've got different uh, rotation speeds set, I uh, ended up just setting the same dampening amount 1 uh, for everything, but yeah, everything should have different rotation speeds. Um, we can, I'll just shrink this all back down, and we should be able to run this, and I'll just show you, uh, we do have the different speeds working. There you go, so you can sort of see over time they'll become a lot more separated. This little one over here doing its thing. And that looks pretty cool. Like you can see the moons going around. Um, might even be able to like zoom in on one of them if I can select the right one. There we go, we can follow it. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Looks cool. Select the moon. Oh, he's boosting. Look at him. Alright, cool. Yeah, sorry. Anyone, if I just caused any motion sickness, uh, I'm going to turn that off. Alright, that's cool, and that's a pretty basic orbit, but I think we can make it look a little bit cooler. Probably the easiest way to do that, um, we, I'm just going to expand all that again, just so I can see the moon containers. Oops, he needs to be on him. I think he was anyway. Doesn't matter, whatever. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to grab the planet containers one by one, and we're just going to adjust the what, what axis. I think it's going to be the Z rotation. Let's just check this out. Let's try it. And we're, we're adjusting the containers, not the planets themselves. Uh, so if I say 10, there we go. That bumps that down a little bit. Let's do it to the next one. Say minus 15. Probably don't want to go too far, or it might look a bit weird. The next one, um, 5. Four, I'm going to grab, we'll say, minus 15 for that one. Give it a fairly wide orbit. And this one I'm going to make fairly drastic. We'll say 20. Oops, not the planet. Not the planet. The planet container. There we go. So now let's try that. Should start to see a better looking orbit path. It's not perfect. Um, 
Like, <laughs> it's not obviously scientifically accurate by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it's a cool little effect, and it does work. And the cool thing is that rotation can be applied to a lot of things, uh, so not just cool little solar system effects. Um, another idea might be, for example, if we let's just add a cube. There it is, zoom in. Hello. Oh, he's so good looking. There we go. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Let's pretend this is a, I don't know, med kit or something. There you go. Pretend it's sitting on the ground. I'm going to give it a different material. Give it the moon material. Yeah, whatever. That kind of works. Uh, pretend this is a med kit sitting on the ground. You know, your player could pick it up or something. Um, let's let's call it med kit. There we go. If we add the rotation script to that, um, uh, and of course, we need to change. Uh, no, it's rotating on the right axis. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we've got the rotation script added. Let's say give it a rotation speed of five, dampening amount one. Uh, if we just play, sort of see there it is. Like you could sit there and spin kind of thing. Uh, I'll just bump that up, let's say 8. We adjust the dampening. There you go. You'd imagine that being like an item the player could pick up or something like that. Um, it's just handy because it's it's a very simple little effect. And it's achieved with one line of code and, and you could see how you could adjust that. It's just an easy way to rotate an object. Which I guess is the uh, long and short of this, this story. There it is. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't actually watched the speed design video, check it out. I'm quite proud of that. I, I think it came together quite nicely. Uh, as always, if you did like this video or you like any of the videos, please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more sometime soon. Thanks guys. See ya.